Now, if you've ever spent any time working in PowerPoint, and really who hasn't, you'll find storyline shape tools to be really familiar. So not only are the shapes laid out the same way in the menu bar, right up here under insert and shapes, but most of the same options are actually still available too. And that means we have a lot of options for creating a tabs shape graphic. Now you can see that we have everything here from rectangles, rounded rectangles, snip single corner rectangle, uh, snip same side corner rectangle, and so on. Now, any one of these would actually really work really well for a tab. It doesn't really matter. Even things like uh, the trapezoid. It's always a fun name to say. Now, for this one, I think I'm going to go with the snip and single side rectangle. This one right here are actually the snip and round single corner. And to do that, we just want to select it and we get the uh, insert cursor. So just click and drag to draw out your first graphic. Now, once the shape is on the slide, you can really do anything with it like you could any other object. You can move it, you can scale it, uh, we can scale it bigger, we can make it narrower, uh, we can colorize it. But um, one of the things that you'll also notice with some of the shapes is anytime you see these yellow diamonds, right? It means you have some additional properties for modifying the shape. Now, in this case, we have two. Sometimes you'll only see one. But what this means is that we can control and edit our shape beyond just basic sizing and scaling. So in this case, we'll do a couple things. Going to reduce the corner here, right? Just so it's not quite as round. And we'll actually increase this angle of the snip. But anytime we want to adjust these, right? To reduce the angle, we just drag that diamond to the right and drag the other diamond to the right to increase the roundness. So I'm just gonna get something a little bit more subtle on the left side and drag this diamond all the way over here to the left for the, the angle of the snip. Now, since I want a few more tabs on my slide, I'm going to uh, reduce this a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Should give me enough room for about three of them. And that looks pretty good. I might have to, as far as I, I can bring it, okay. Now, before I go ahead and create the additional tabs though, I really should finalize the overall design and style of the current tab, and that's what we'll do in the next lesson.